This is the Man Stop It Podcast. Man Stop It. Boy, big less. Man, stop it. Got another story on a on a lady, man. Uh, that uh, was a big part of my life too. You know, uh, her name is Sue Duncan. Uh, this is way before Boys and Girls Clubs. You know, Sue Duncan is someone that had a little uh, center for the kids in the neighborhood. And everybody knows who Sue Duncan is. Uh, she was like all of our mothers. You know what I'm saying? Like all of our mothers. You know, so you could go to Sue and you could eat your uh, raisin bread, cheese, your, your apples, your... You know, everything. You know, you go there to Sue, and Sue, uh, Sue was different. She was different. You know, you can go there, man, but before you do anything, you know, you got to do work. You know what I'm saying? One thing Sue did, man, when you come in there, she didn't play. She didn't play. And uh, she didn't play with nobody. But Sue's is so much, she's so much of a sweet woman. Uh, she looked out for all the kids in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she gave uh, R. Kelly his first uh, stage, you know. Uh, he about the only one really didn't have to do no work. Uh, she be like... Uh, Clap for Robert. Clap for Robert. Robert's going to give us a song. You know what I'm saying? And Rob will come in there, man, and he'll be there. He'll hit them notes, and he'll sing for everybody, and he get to go to the gym, man. He get to go to the gym, man, because he had them vocals on him. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else be in that motherfucker stuck. Got to do this. Got to do that. Got to write this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So one thing about her. She gonna make you do some homework though. You know, she gonna make you work. You know what I'm saying? She gonna, she gonna, she gonna put you at the place you need to be. You know what I'm saying? That's if you listen. You know, she she did her best with everybody that came out of Sue. You know, and and there's a lot of kids from the neighborhoods that went to Sue, but it's a lot of them that that got their ass kicked out. And her favorite word is, uh, uh and she'll say your name. And I ain't gonna lie, she said my name one time. She said, Leslie, go home. One time. I got that from Sue. You know what I'm saying? And she kicked my ass out. But you know, Sue loved me so much, you know, like she really loved me. And I know Sue loved me because I really love Sue. And I had nothing but respect for Sue and I didn't do nothing towards disrespecting her. It was who I was around, it was my surroundings. And it was Mucho, one of my homies, you know. He did something at Sue. And Sue sent me home too. You know what I'm saying? So she was like, Leslie, go home. That's her favorite word, man. Leslie, go home. I'm talking about she sent your ass home just like that. You know what I'm saying? But. You know, Sue is known for her work in the community with all the kids, all the neighborhood kids from, you know, from everywhere, all around. She picked kids up from everywhere, all around the neighborhood, 43rd, 44th, 47th, and High Park. You know, she was on she was on 46th and Greenwood, you know what I'm saying, at the church, uh, she threw out a few places. I can remember 46 in Greenwood at the church uh, when she was there, you know. And that, you know, I ain't gonna lie. We, 
we had fun, fun moments and fun times at Sue. You know, Sue did a lot for us. She took us to, to games. She took us to basketball games, uh, season tickets every year, uh, Christmas, Thanksgivings. Uh, Sue just, Sue was different, man. You know, she she give people clothes, money, all kind of shit, scholarships. Sue and some kids off to college. Yeah, Sue and something, a lot of kids off to college. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about that's really, like, got they st self together and got, you know, sued and did that with these kids. And right now today, uh, they got a sue facility still up somewhere. I think it's on 67th, uh, somewhere over there on 67th. I don't know exactly where it is, but she used to be in Jackson Park, or uh, not Jackson Park. She used to be in Jackie Robinson grand, uh, grade school right there on uh 43rd and Lake Park. She used to be inside that school too. Later on, she used to be at the church on Greenwood, like on 51st. Uh, she used to be over there at the Operation Push Church, I think. One of them churches used to be at the church over there across from Operation Push. And uh, Sue been around, man. She she always had, you know, I think she got two of them. But I always, always used to go in there and see Sue. Wherever she was at, I'd make make a showing and she never forget me. She never forgot who I was. You know, when she see me, she'd be like, Oh Leslie Weekly. She say, Leslie Weekly. You know, I'd be like, Yeah, Sue, how you doing? I I stayed trying to go see her, man, and check on her. I haven't seen Sue in a minute, but Sue's still kicking and she's still around. You know, her daughter Sarah. Uh she my friend on Facebook, you know, and Arnie I stay in tune with Arnie and Owen. I haven't heard from Owen in so long, but I love all the Duncans. You know, uh, I love Sue. I love her kids. Uh, they like my second family too. You know, Sue is a beautiful woman, man. Sue took care of the neighborhood. Sue looked out for all the kids. You know, the, the, when the mothers couldn't do this and that for them, Sue did it. Sue did it. You know, so I love you, Sue, and I swear to God, I just want to give you your flowers because you deserve flowers. You know, you deserve flowers, Sue, and this is less, man. I just want to give them to you, and I just want to show you how much I love you, and uh, I'm going to always keep you in my heart. It's always a place for you in my heart, Sue. You know, I just want you to know that. That you, you, when I didn't listen and when I wasn't listening and doing what I was supposed to really do, you showed me a lot. You taught me a lot, you know? And uh, I respect you for that and I love you for that. And uh, hopefully one day I'll get a chance to see you too. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to let you know, man, how much I love you, Sue, and how much you played a big part of my life, you know? And and I just want to say I'm giving you your flowers, you know, so I'm going to say this to say that. Man, stop it.